all the rear end is going to get cut off. I got to fabricate a new one. I'm waiting for the one inch tube. I'm going to reuse the motor mount plate and cut off the brake piece because there was a drum brake on there before. This was a single axle, or I'm sorry, it was a single wheel drive, and I'm going to put a live axle on. So. <laughs> gonna try to duplicate it in its size I'm gonna cut that motor mount plate off and that's about it for right now all right gonna go ahead and cut off these side brackets here I'm gonna end up reshaping those but for right now they just need to be removed so I can resize them I lined up the motor and I'm just not quite sure if I want the bracket to be underneath the axle or on top because the motor placement. So I'm going to go ahead and mount these up onto the extension bars tubing and then further line it up once I get the axle on. I'm just going five inches from the end to give me a little bit. Uh, on the end to make a bumper kind of and plenty of room on the front so I can line up the rest of the axle. Alright, got one tacked in. Gonna go ahead and do the second one. Don't mind the welds, I'm still learning. And this is basically what the rear end is looking like. I was gonna put the motor off to the side. Kind of put it right here, but it just doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of room there with the gas tank hit in the back of the seat because I've moved the seat back some. So I'm just looking at that and then the disc brake and everything's gonna be connected right there to the metal frame. So a couple more pieces to put together. But first I'm gonna figure out how long I need this to be. Probably not much up past the seat and then reconnect it to the other frame. So this is the basic look I'm gonna go for. I've just uh, attached the rear axle and I'm just kind of mocking up and lining up where I want things. I already taped the markings where I want the seat so I think that's really what I'm going to look at next and then connect. I'm going to end up cutting it and reconnecting it. I really didn't have to cut that much off the first frame but oh well. This is my first one. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the original motor mount, cut off the brake piece, reuse that. I'm going to mount it right here on top. I got the original plate off and I'm going to go ahead and mount it back here, something like this. And then um, I'm going to take advantage of these already slots. And I'm going to put a cross beam going straight across. So I don't know if I'm going to weld the plate to that cross beam or if I'm just going to weld it here and on the edges. So, because I want the motor to kind of be right on top of the sprocket to make the chain as small as possible. I got the rear portion of the frame and the front portion of the frame connected. I rolled it around, it seems to roll straight. Um, I'm gonna finish getting the keyway stock in and then I do need another chain. So I'm just gonna go over to a bike supply or something like that. It's just a 35 chain, so it shouldn't be too hard right, to find. So I, I've been working on the brake and I needed to get some uh, material I decided to just weld a couple of pieces onto the frame and then um, attach the bracket for the brake caliper right there to the side. And then I move the brake to the outside so it'll be in between the tire and the frame 
originally it was right there but after looking at the brake and having it right underneath the car I didn't want it right underneath so I went with it on the outside so now I'm gonna connect the rest of the brake connections up and uh, see how those get fitted and then uh, I did get a chain and I also got a uh, chain splitter so I can go ahead and make the chain it looks cool it's gold so I think it's gonna look pretty good and then after that the brake I'll go ahead and hook up the throttle there and I still have some frame pieces to put on but uh, I want to get the motor on and just see if I can tow it around today just to see if it uh, does anything terrible and uh, I'm gonna end up putting some frame pieces going across uh, please ignore the welds this is my first time welding so I'm probably overdoing it everywhere um, just uh, want to make sure it stays together at least uh, the first time around all right just got done going on a quick little ride quite a few adjustments got to be made but it is rideable uh, you know got it all together I got a couple more adjustments and stuff some connections on the frame to do but overall it's, it's all right uh, especially for the first time I've done this before and uh, you know I'm not really riding it because the frame isn't quite connected so I gotta take it apart anyways but it's getting there pretty exciting pretty exciting Okay, so it is all done and rideable. It uh, was a little interesting having posi track on the back end, but I think overall came out pretty good. Um, gets going really easy. I think I need a new clutch because that one's forever old. Um, but the brakes work. Uh, I just gotta tighten everything up a little bit more. Um, it turns. Turns fine, which is great, because um, it wasn't turning before, before I went and I uh, tilted the front, the front wheels the way I did, so it's pretty cool. I know they're a little off, but that's fine, because I'm going to end up redoing the, the front, um, just the whole front end, just because I'm going to put a little shocks on there, on the uh, pieces that are connected to the tires. but. I think this came out pretty good um, when you look at the frame pieces they came out pretty good the stance looks pretty good it's a little high in the back and you can tell when you're riding on it that it's higher in the back but that's okay um, so what I did is I cut just behind the seat before and I moved the seat back because the seat used to be right about there and I had no leg room at all and I'm 5'8 and I had no leg room so I didn't really make it longer what I did is cut the rear end off and fabricated this new rear end so that way it was a single axle live axle instead of the single drive which was actually on this tire right here uh, put the axle on put the brake on and mounted the pieces underneath the frame there so all in all i think it came out pretty good so i'm gonna go for another ride around the, around the block
That's pretty good. So, first attempt at a go-kart, and it works pretty good. Thanks for watching. <laughs>